The state of Michigan wants to allow tenants to be able to make repairs themselves and deduct the amount from the next month's rent. I'm going to tell you exactly why that's a horrible idea. I'm Tony, and this is Real Estate Investing and Landlord News. So I have an interesting article for you today. It's coming out of the state of Michigan. It has to do with repairs and maintenance. The tenants claim a landlord is not responding to or not responding quickly enough for their standards. Okay, so basically what they're trying to do is they're trying to allow tenants to be able to fix things on their own and then have the tenant be able to deduct the amount, the cost for the repair from the month or from the rent. Okay. And I got a big problem with this because, you know, it's going to lead to all sorts of fraud. It's going to lead to code violations. It's going to lead to all sorts of problems, things that aren't actually getting fixed and could even lead to people getting hurt or injured or killed. Okay. So this is part of the reason why I do not believe that a tenant should ever be allowed to make repairs. Now, I know that there are already states that have these rules in place, right? But I don't want to see this being spread anywhere else. It's an awful idea. It's horrible. You can talk to landlords and any landlord will tell you that this is not going to work. Excuse me. <laughs> this is not going to work because you know what? You can't trust that the tenant will actually do what is necessary in order to fix the unit the way that it needs to be fixed within you know um the law okay so let me know what you think before i get into the article go ahead hit the like subscribe button maybe leave a comment down below and you know tell me what you think of a law that requires or not requires but allows tenants to do repairs on their own and then deduct the amount from the rent okay you think this is a good idea or you think it's a bad idea? Do you think this will actually lead to more repairs being done? Or do you think this will lead to landlords having to fix repairs by unqualified people or tenants deducting amounts that are far beyond the actual cost of a repair from their rent in order to basically get rent free? Okay, now that's what I'm imagining. Okay, there, there's so many issues with this law and you know, I'm going to go through them as we go through this article. So let's get into it. This article is coming from dwell.com and it says a Michigan bill would let renters fix their own dang apartments and deduct it from the rent. It's just one part of state Senator Sarah Anthony's tenant empowerment package. Yeah. When you read tenant empowerment package, this is what it really means. It means anti landlord package anti-common sense package, anti-business package, because no laws that are tenant empowerment have anything to do with reality when it comes to running a business. They always have to do with feelings. Anyway, let's see what the article says. All of us renters have had situations in which we've thought about withholding or deducting rent. Tenants have little recourse if a landlord takes weeks to conduct non-essential repairs, like say a broken dishwasher or clothes dryer, a busted buzzer or a sink disposal that sounds as if a robot has met an unfortunate end somewhere inside it. Many of us have proceeded to Google whether this is allowed and have been informed that in almost all circumstances, aside from those deemed to make the rental unit uninhabitable, Withholding rent is an extremely bad idea and places the renter in a hugely disadvantage, disadvantageous position in any legal scuffle and for good reason. OK, imagine if you have a broken dishwasher inside your unit and it takes the landlord a couple of weeks to you know, work out either whether the warranty covers the repair or whether the repairman takes uh, you know, days on end to get it fixed. And you're like, well, I'm just going to withhold the rent. That's a bunch of garbage. Your place is still inhabitable. You don't need a dishwasher in order to have a nice place to live. And I'm working on getting the thing fixed. So, you know, stop acting like a smug little brat and pay your rent. That's what I say. OK, but according to these people, hey, we you know we should be able to withhold rent for any reason, any reason. Oh, a light bulb went out. I'm, I'm withholding the rent. You know, that's that's the way these people think. They want something for free. They think that they don't think that there's another human on the other side of this equation who has to come out of pocket for all the repairs and is doing the best that they absolutely can. But that is the truth. That is what landlords are doing. We're doing the best we can. And no, it is not a priority for me to fix little stuff like they mentioned here, like a broken dishwasher or, or clothes dryer. That 
is not a priority for me. I've got a lot of units. I am not trying to you know, focus on, oh, I gotta get this repaired ASAP. I'm gonna call in the middle of the night to get this dryer fixed. No, that ain't happening. Ain't happening. So be patient, it will be fixed. But the thought of you being able to withhold the rent for a broken dryer or dishwasher is insane. <clears throat> Michigan State Senator Susan Anthony, who represents Lansing, has a package of bills, Senate Bills SB 900 through 903, which would, among other things, allow tenants to fix stuff themselves and then deduct the cost from the next month's rent. We're calling this the Tenant Empowerment Package to ensure renters are aware of their rights and have the tools they need to advocate for them, says Remy Gelderluz, Anthony's Deputy Chief of Staff. The right to repair aspect would give landlords 72 hours after receiving notice from the tenant to fix broken appliances and a week for other repairs. Are you out of your mind? I, I had to stop in the middle of this because 72 hours to fix a broken appliance? I mean, come on. L listen, let me think here. Hmm, okay. Appliance breaks on Friday night at 10 p.m. and I got 72 hours to get it fixed. Otherwise, the tenant can start withholding rent from me. Ooh, yeah, th this is this is a great idea. Ugh. Remember, you're not gonna get many appliance repairmen to be able to come by and fix something on a Saturday or Sunday. So by the time your 72 hours is up, I mean, even if you call them on Monday morning, you're already screwed and this tenant is gonna be withholding rent from you. Give me a break, give me a break. Dumb idea, absolutely idiotic. But anyway, let me continue with this paragraph. The tenant would then have to get three estimates, but after that could proceed with the repair and deduct that cost from the rent. This package is part of an ongoing nationwide effort to address unfair landlord-tenant uh, relationships. Along with California's just cause for eviction law, evictions being expunged from records in Minnesota, and many more. Tenant getting three estimates. That ain't gonna happen, okay? Ain't gonna happen. So that, that's kind of funny in itself. Oh, the tenant would have to get three estimates, right? It's pretty easy to say that but you know it, it's not gonna happen so a lot of landlords are much much better at dealing with contractors have contractors they know that can do appliance repairs that can do the sort of repairs for the best quality and the best price right so even if let's say the tenant goes and gets three estimates right there's nothing in the law that says that the tenant has to use the cheapest estimate or that the tenant isn't just calling up their buddy to get one of the estimates and then the buddy is just giving them all the cash <laughs> i mean give me a break how do we know that this isn't going to be abused it will be simply put it will be abused beyond belief you won't believe how many people think about how awful some of the tenants are that you've dealt with before okay and when they find out that hey there's this little loophole here that it prevents me from having to pay my full rent they will use it they will lie they will cheat they will do everything they can in order to screw you over so the best way around this would be not to even have this stupid law in place in the first place. Another excuse for them not to pay you. So that's my, my opinion. The rest of the tenant empowerment package includes a law banning landlords from forbidding tenant unions, requires landlords to give three months notice before initiating a rent raise, and bans all kinds of weird predatory language from leases, like anything that waives the tenant's right to sue or demands that the renter pay legal fees in a dispute. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's predatory. So, so I have to pay my legal fees, right? And because you sued me. Yeah, whatever, right? Here, here's my, my big gripe. You don't pay your rent, you should have to pay my legal fees if I have to take you to court. Period. It's pretty simple. You didn't pay your rent. I got to take you to court to evict you. And now I got to pay a lawyer a whole bunch of money. Well, maybe, yeah, you should pay my legal fees. Ah, whatever. You know what? 
all of this anti-landlord stuff, it, the end result is always going to be the same. Okay, you're going to have less people who want to be landlords. There's going to be more people leaving the rental market completely. There's going to be less affordable housing because those landlords who decide to stay in the business, they're going to have to raise the rent to cover the additional costs caused by these ridiculous laws. There's going to be less affordable housing for those who need it. And the tenants will further complain and ask for more. They'll, they'll want new laws passed that, you know, uh, rent control or strong eviction protections that make it impossible to evict people. And, you know, the end result is that there is no personal responsibility by certain tenants to, you know, for their actions. And they think that, oh, well, you know what? I, I have a right to this property. I have a right to low rents forever. Well, you know what? This isn't socialism. This isn't a socialist system. This is a capitalist system, okay? The free market should be what determines the rents. Business owners should be able to make the best business decisions for their businesses and not have government interference, period. Okay, so if you want to see more about what this article is saying, I'm going to leave a link to the article in the description down below.